Yeah, love coffee. What are you gonna get here? <sighs> I've already had my cup of coffee this morning, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get a cold brew or if I'm just gonna get a nice hot coffee again. Yeah, I'm a sweet guy, so if I was gonna actually get breakfast, it would be definitely one of those muffins. Going. Could I get your drip coffee? Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks, my friend. All right, thank you. Coffee's right over here for you. It's gonna be hard to get out of here. Ross called me, and uh, he was excited. I mean. Knowing having a little connection, um, my dad used to work with him when he was in Cleveland, so um, having that connection there was pretty cool. Um, just I've already had kind of having uh, somebody who kind of knows me a little bit, so uh, he was really excited, and you know, he uh, he was just thrilled to kind of uh, have me be a part of the Blue Jays. I like the mug. But it's got a nice handle. Lucky enough, I had a father who kind of went through the same thing. He's like, it's going to be different. Like your your first couple of days of like getting traded, it's just it's going to feel weird. Um, but in the end, it's just like you're going to start feeling everything feeling normal again. And so, it actually took me a lot longer. Obviously, meeting all the guys and kind of getting down here helped out a bunch. And um, it was it was pretty cool, kind of just getting my feet wet with all the guys of like just kind of getting to know who they are and their families and uh, the coaches and everything. So. It was pretty cool to kind of just be able to get down here and just enjoy this process. I'm very passionate, but I'm very quiet passionate. I'm gonna do everything the right way. That's how I was brought up by my dad, and it's just like, I remember, I'll tell you a story, I remember throwing my helmet when I was a little kid and, and uh, getting kind of mad, and um, he, he pulled me in the car and he's like, you know, I, I just, I'm just really disappointed in you today. And I was like, yeah, I know why. Because I threw my helmet, like, it's not the right way to do it. And it's just like, ever since then, like, I've always kind of done everything kind of the right way. Yeah, I'm gonna get mad, but I'm, I'm gonna do it in a spot where it's just like, I can get it get it all out and um, nobody can see me. But on the field, it's 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 go time, it's, it's, it's my job. Very cool little spot. I'm gonna put this back in there. I'll be right back. Oh! There's a dog dish right here. <laughs> I think there's a lot more detail to like base running defense, making sure that we're doing all like the little things right, which I know we always harp on since like we're little kids, but it's gonna be a lot of fun watching us every single night because if we can do a lot of the little things right, we're gonna score a lot of runs and we're gonna we're gonna make a lot of defensive plays. So I mean everybody asks like what's it gonna be like with Kevin and, and George out there and me and I said well we're gonna be able to cover a lot of ground and I think it's gonna make a lot of pitchers happy because it's just like they can make their pitches and and if we can take away those little soft singles that I think has happened where I think I saw a stat the other day that Kevin Gosman was like one of the unluckiest pitchers in the big leagues last year and if we can we can help him to be able to like catch those little singles where guys are not gonna hit hit that wall off of them and have to really square up the ball and hit it over our heads I think I think we're going to be in a really good, good position to be able to win a lot of ball games and be able to take it into the postseason and win win there too. And just got to just focus on those little details every every night. So um, I think it's going to be very exciting and a lot of fun baseball for us to play. He was actually talking to me about like the retractable roof, and I was asking like how it opens up and it actually like circles around and like opens like to the back uh, to like the outfield. So I'm actually interested to see it actually open one time because coming from Chase, it opens kind of like from the middle and kind of breaks apart. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see something different in that sense of kind of seeing a newer roof open up. Being out there with Kevin and George, I mean, those two guys, they're, they're kind of total opposites of me. Personality-wise, they both really like to talk, and so I'm usually the quiet one, And but uh, no, it's fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun this year being able to roam the outfield with those two because I can learn so much from KK and George and because they've been around for a lot of time. Being able to be around those guys and learn and it's kind of like a young guy's dream. Kirk. He's like, what is you? <laughs> Kirk is like, please don't run me over. All right. That was fun.